Hello doctors, welcome back to our video of NEET MDS 2021 recall. So in this video, we are going to see about electroform dyes from the subject dental materials. So the question they have asked in 2021 exam was, the process of making impression material to conduct electricity is known as options given were electroplating, iontophoresis, galvanizing and metallizing so let us just see how we make the impression material to conduct electricity so let us now look at what electroform dyes means so metal dyes are produced from electroplated impression material with copper or silver so metal dyes which are produced from electroplated impression material with uh, copper or silver are known as electroform dyes they are uh, made by using the technique electroplating it was discovered in early 1930s okay so here in this image you can see the process of electroplating like you can just not like entire process you can just uh, look at how uh, this person is uh, electroplating the impression material so what all we require is we require an electrolyte solution a source of direct current and an anode which can be pure copper or pure silver so in this bucket you can see the electrolyte solution and this is the direct current uh, which he is keeping from this uh, uh, power source and an anode okay so coming to copper plating so we have seen that it is done by using copper or as silver so first of all we will see what how copper plating is done so copper plating first became popular in early 1930s it is indicated for compound or additional silicon impression materials so it is indicated for compound or additional silicon impression materials okay if when we are using these uh, two impression materials we do copper plating so the first step which we do is known as metallizing so the first step which we do is known as metallizing what is metallizing metallizing is nothing but the surface of the impression material is treated so that it conducts electricity okay the surface of impression material is treated so that it conducts electricity okay while doing the copper plating what we do no it doesn't matter whether we are doing copper plating or silver plating the first step to form an electroform dye is metallizing so metallizing means nothing but the surface of impression material is treated in such a way that it conducts electricity okay then coming to the composition of the copper plated uh, impression materials it is made up of copper sulfate sulfuric acid and phenol sulfonic acid so surface is coated with fine particles of copper or graphite coated impression material is made as cathode so the coated impression material is made as cathode copper plate is anode as we have we know the pure copper or silver we use it as anode so uh, hence it is copper plating we use copper plate as anode it is immersed in an electrolytic solution of copper sulfate together with alcohol or phenol so a current of 15 milliamperes is passed for 10 hours so a current of 15 milliamperes is passed for 10 hours in that solution it causes slow dissolution of anode so so slow dissolution of copper plate can be seen so the electric electro tuned dye surface is then filled with the dye stone okay greater surface hardness and resistance to abrasion than gypsum so we can observe a greater surface hardness and resistance to abrasion than gypsum in copper plated dye material coming to silver plating silver plating the remember for both of them the procedure of making the dye is same okay uh, they, we only have a few changes in both of them we will see what they are so silver plating it is indicated when we are using polysulfide polyether and silicon rubber impression materials whereas that one copper plating we use it for compound and additional silicon materials right so we have seen it in the uh, before slides right so coming to the composition of silver plated uh, electroform dye it is uh, silver cyanide potassium cyanide potassium carbonate and distilled water okay so as i've told you the procedure is similar to that of copper plating but except that we use 5 milliampere current only in silver plating we do not use 15 milliampere as we use in 
copper plating we use only 5 milliampere that is coated with silver or graphite this is made as cathode and anode will be we know silver right so anode will be silver plate and the electrolyte is an alkaline solution of silver cyanide so with silver cyanide with potassium cyanide and potassium carbonate in distilled water so alkaline solution of silver cyanide with potassium cyanide and potassium carbonate in distilled water is used as an electrolyte for silver plating and impression material then the advantageous advantages of electroform dyes are so no expansion or contraction occurs with electroform dyes there is high strength hardness and abrasion resistance finishing and polishing of metal restoration can be done crown margin accuracy can also be obtained then coming to the disadvantages it is time consuming we need special equipment for that it is not compatible with all impression materials of course we have seen the impression materials with which they can be used and it is also expensive due to its procedural requirements coming back to our question what we have seen is the process of making impression material to conduct electricity is so as we have seen it is nothing but the first step which we use to make the electroform dyes it is nothing but metallizing so the metallizing option here we can see it from option d right so option d is our answer if you like our video do subscribe to our youtube channel you can also follow us on instagram at dogshala for dental content and at dogshala medical for medical content you can also find us on telegram thank you